Okay, we'll start with pounding, guys. We'll start with pounding. First card, Imprison Sungil. Yeah. Dawn for two turns. When it's awakened, summon 2 1 1 Murlocs. 1 mana 2 1, and it's kind of like extra 2 2, right? But you have to wait two turns. What do you think of these dormant two turn cards? Uh, some of them seem powerful. I don't know if this one. I mean, this one's kind of okay in Murloc Paladin. Let's do um, put buffs on them. Yeah, I think these cards, let's see draw this card on turn one. Like, it's, I don't know, it's so, like, Murlocs are very snowbally, right? So, if you're drawing this on, like, turn three or something, and you fall behind, it's just over, right? Who cares about the one ones? Yeah. This one, this one didn't impress me too much. I don't know. The, the, nut, the nut curve of playing this on one, and then playing the plus two health Murloc. If they on see three, it on three, yep. It's pretty good. Yeah. But does that make it playable? I don't know. I think this card's just bad. I'm I'm going to give it a 1. I think these dormant cards are going to be trash. It's sometimes better to not have it come out on 1, though. Like, if you're like, facing down a 1-3, maybe you don't want to play this on 1 and have the match heat there. Yep. Yeah, the rating scale we're doing is 1 to 4. 1 is, um, trash. And four is busted. And then in between, like, two is, like, okay, three is decent, right? Pretty much. You can use this card with the side quest. I play this on one, side quest, play another one of these on two, and then you just won the game, right? Yeah. Now you get so many stats. That's insane. All the four sets out, Pog. Yeah. I don't know. It's a one from me. Mm. Yeah. I will give it a two. A two? Okay. I'm, I'm, I think I need to play with Dormant cards to see how good they are. Alright. Next up. Chat, chat thinks it's a one or a two. Yeah. Chat, chat. I see a lot of ones. You can also yeah, just say in chat if you have any, have any strong thoughts. So, th there's all of these Librams. We can talk about, I don't know, Aldo Attendant is just a 2 mana 2 3, but reducing the cost of all the Librams is that is nutty, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, the end game of the, the Wisdom one that costs zero. Yep. Pretty good. Yes, yeah, so you have the Wisdom, end up costs zero, comes back into your hand. You have Librum Hope, which restores eight health. And then you have, like, Lady the Adrian, which gets all of them back as well. So, like, mm -hmm. you can get your Librams. Oh, this one reduces them by two, the Adult Truth Seeker later. So you can get them down to what? Like, you can reduce them by six? Yes. And then Lady Adrian get, gets them back? Yes. So, at least. Curve wise, like, you can. If you have the Wisdom in hand, turn freeze is like a free four. Yeah. Which gives you a one mana Wisdom back. It's pretty good. Good card. Yeah, this card's um, good. Do we think it's going to be top tier, the Paladin deck it's in? The Lib I think the Librium stuff looks really good. I think I'm it excited looks really to good it. too. So yeah, I think this card's good. I can't really, you can't really give it a 4, can you? This card? Yeah, I'll I'm give not it, give it good. a good. I think it just goes in the deck. Yep. Give me a 3. I'll give it a 3 as well. Okay, thanks for support, Gin and Tonic. Welcome back. Lib Librium Paladin uh, has no win con. When you play Lady Liadron, you get like a free Blessing of Kings every turn. Yeah, I mean, you're something. also going to get these Hand of Adels as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it has no win con. Yeah, yeah. And next up is the Hand. Whew. Give a minion plus two plus two. Draw a card. Mega Omega Broken. The Nuts. Every power in deck forever this goes in. Wait, I'm in the Wisdom. Wait, is that... Wait... That was the next one for me. Oh, I mean, after Egg Lord, H is after H is before L, right? That's what it does it in. Oh, I haven't got the hand on it yet. Maybe I need to refresh. Just refresh, yeah. Hold on, chat. We'll, we'll do the wisdom one later. Wait, it's not on there. It's not there for you. It's there for me. <laughs> uh... Let me go on someone else first. 
Anyway, the cards, the cards, Omega <laughs> busted. It doesn't give me. It. It's not giving me the card. Wait, what? Why does it not give you the card? Oh, there it is. We found it. You found it, Pog. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, why did I get the card? Okay, <laughs> chat. Now you can vote on hand of, hand of a doll. Sweet. Yeah, this is this is just the easiest four. So I mean, you do need good one drops, right? For this to be good. Yes. Here's a caveat. What are the good one drops? Uh, I mean, isn't Argent quite good enough for this card? Oof. Maybe. Balloon? Is Squire a good card? Balloon? Yeah. Balloon balloon's a nice hit on it, yeah. Balloon's pretty good. I don't know. I think this card isn't that good? Hmm. No, this card's great. I'm just thinking you need a lot of one drops. Yeah, I mean you don't I mean you, you do want ones for sure, but it doesn't like it's not like you ha like you're not gonna always have this on turn two. Like it's obviously it's gonna be good on anything later. Like you can coin on the coin as well, you're gonna coin the two three and play this on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could envision a world where, like, you can't get away with playing Argent Squire because of Demon Hunters. Right, oh yeah, Argent Squire, they just hero power, yeah, yeah. So you have Maybe. to play, like, 1-3s, I guess. We haven't seen the neutrals yet, there might be a neutral 1-3 there. Yeah, 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 true. I mean, I'll well, give this a 4, because it's obviously super, super good. And, like, I don't know. It goes in any Tempo Paladin deck. Yeah. Whether that's Highlander or whether it's the Libram star. Doesn't go on Benelope Paladin. I'm, I think you could put it in Benelope Paladin as well. You'd put it in Benelope Paladin for sure, yeah. Really good card. Yeah. Alright, next. Exploded on that one. Yes, that one was, that one was fast. Next is another that's Libram. Very easy. Yeah, Libram of Wisdom. This is like Explorer's Hat, if you remember that card. Give a mini plus one plus one and then add it back to your hand. But it obviously gets reduced, so it probably ends up costing zero when you cast it. Yes. But zero mana plus one plus one, it signed me up. Seems nuts. Yes. Turns the taunt. If even if you played no other discount things, taunt becomes five mana five seven taunt. Yeah. Which gives you a zero mana one of these back. Oh yeah, five seven's a big big point. Pretty good. Yeah. It actually just seems insane, yeah. Oh, this plus this. Yeah, I can already see it happening all the time on turn five. Yeah, um, if it's discounted to zero, but by the time you play Lady Liadrin, you've probably got like three or four of these been played, maybe. Yeah, but only sap. I mean, more. it can be silenced and sapped, right? Yes, that's 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 the downside if you get silenced. Is that you can lose your wisdom card. But it's just good. Yep, yeah, spellwork is rotating as well, so um <laughs> the silence no. Yeah, I think this card's just very strong. What wait what, what are you going for? Um three. I like I had I had to I was reading a Reddit thread on this and people were like, you don't want to get this one back off Lady Liadron because it's gonna clog up your hand. Uh-huh, but it costs zero. <laughs> but it costs zero. I was like, what is your point? Yeah, I think if you've got a handful of these, it's suddenly in a bad position. Yeah, this is a three as well. I mean, this, yeah, it's pretty cool. Card's very good. I mean, if you have like it's, this card promotes running um, a wide board, right? Because you can sort of die wolf out for your board for zero mana, and like if you have like six one ones, you can make off the one one trade it as a two two, and then keep doing that. So it's kind of better on wide boards than uh, narrow boards. Yeah, it's just good. Right, next up, Murga Murgoggle. It is a two mana, two one, divine your death trial, shuffle, Murgoggle Prime into your deck. Here we have Murgoggle Prime as well. Eight mana, six to divine shield, summon, summon four Murlocs, give them divine shield. Okay, this Murgoggle Prime. Seems completely bonkers, so I think you play this Murgo in every Paladin deck. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's like a Dragon Queen, right? Almost. Yeah, it's like Dragon Queen, it's even better. Probably better, probably better but... Four Murlocs? Like, it's impossible, it's so hard to remove. Mm-hmm. 
It's pretty good. If you play this and you're not dead, it can even be reactive if it gets bluegill. It's a bit of a push, but yeah. It's, it's, and you, there are synergies between them. You get like war leaders sometimes. You get um, some other attack buffs. Seems like a good card. 2 mana, 2 1, Divine Shield. That's just good, right? I'd say it's like weaker than like Shotbot. Yeah. But it's, it's not terrible. I can see if it, uh, you're playing high mana powers, and this would be a good card. Yeah, I mean, it also, I don't know, it works very well with Toxfin, Divine Shield 2 1. I don't know if you're going to be playing Toxfin in, this, in a deck with this, but. Maybe not. Could, that could be something. I don't think it's Cosbro. I'll give it. I'll give it free. I guess you can get Earth dropped as well, but yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, the issue would be get... card draw, basically, but yeah. Yeah, you can get stolen by a priest as well. By the Shadow Madness. But if it's still worth Divine Shield, maybe that won't work. Yeah. Okay, I can see that happening in the matter if a lot of Prime cards are used that Priest starts nicking them. Yep, next up, the Underlight Angling Rod. After your hero attacks, add a random Murloc to your hand. 3 mana, 3 2 weapon. This is like the weapons that they're going for with everything right. They're like, they're, this is just the weapon stat line. Everything's a 3 mana, 3 2 weapon. Is it good though? Random Murloc in your hand? It's like yeah. draw 2, but there is a random Murloc. Um, you play this in Murloc decks, right? But any other decks? I think, yeah. I think I. If I were to make a hand of hard deck, I'd put this in. It. Sure, I think it's a good card. Like similar to Ankar, in a way, you likely find stuff to fill your curve because Murlocs tend to be cheap. So even if you're playing like a two-one, like little Billy thing, it's probably just a good thing to get. It's not as strong as Ankar, obviously, because you don't get to choose what you get, but you get to the extra attack. I think it's a good card. Yeah, I think the card's just decent. I don't think it's like insane or anything though. Especially like imagine you're playing against Rogue, like what do you hit? <laughs> yeah, they're they're all hiding because they got stealth. Right? They've all got stealth or or they're all like one one sort one for lackey stuff. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm giving it a three. I'm I'm excited for Palva. This is a three for me. Was this the, the comeback of Paladin? I hope so. Okay. Next up is the uh, the Truth Seeker we were talking about earlier. 5 mana, 4, 6 Taunt, which is already okay. You've seen Shield of Ganacon be like decent, right? For a long time. Mm hmm. And now we have this. Yeah, reduce the cost of your Librans by 2. I mean, it's just going to go in the Librum deck, right? That's just decent. It's not like insane or anything, but it's just very good. You're going to want to draw this all the time in, the, in that deck. Yeah. Well, the Liberum deck is a bit reminiscent of in invoking stuff, right? With these. Can't need to play these to get the other stuff going. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not got as powerful as a finisher, I don't think. Yeah, the Adrian is definitely not as good as Galakrond. You can, you can you can draw your Wisdoms a bit too late or have your minions with the, that get Wisdom not die off. A bit weird. Yeah, I mean, this card's not that interesting. It's just a thing, yeah. Seems like a good card. Pro probably stronger than the two-drop, I imagine. But I don't want to give it a four, so I'm going to give it a three. Yeah. Uh, next up, Lipum of Justice. Six mana, but obviously gets reduced a lot. Equip a 1 4 weapon so you get Light's Justice and you change the health of all enemies to 1. So basically, this is just the new equality, right? Yeah. It just, it's better. just good, right? Yeah, you get the weapon as well. So if I. Even if they only got one dude, you can just play this. Yeah, it's only enemy minions too, which is pretty relevant compared to equality just for the comparison. Yep, Overdue Justice also looks a lot cooler than Light's Justice. Uh huh. You can do you can uh, combo Wild Pyro. Wild Pyro might be alright in the deck, especially if you've got zero mana 
wisdoms. Yeah. Makes Pyro pretty good. I'm worried that, like, set the health of any any minions to one, and they're all just stealth minions that <laughs> have, like, two or one health. Oh, yeah. Could be. But I mean, Moranus Mar Mar has this effect on, with a 7 6 body. Instead, you get a weapon. Moranus is pretty meh, right? Need... Moranus? Yeah. And it's, it's good if you have tokens, which, I don't know. Paladin has Skyclaw, right? Yeah, Paladin should have tokens. It should just be good. I don't know. I'll give it a three? Give me a number. I'm, I'm probably rating all the Paladin and Librium stuff a three. Yeah. I'm not 100% convinced, but... Uh, neither am I. I'm not 100% convinced. I'm worried that you just don't kill people, right? Sure. I get a free. It's a powerful effect. Mm hmm. Alright, next is the legendary for Paladin, Lady the Adrian. Seven mana four six. Add a copy of each four you cast on friendly characters this game to your hand. So that's your face and your minions. So that's the hand, that's the uh Living Room of Hope, that's the Living Room of Wisdom. Any other Paladin spells you're gonna be casting on minions? Uh, probably not. Maybe, maybe like the one that makes them a one-one. Yeah, subdue. Subdue, yeah, maybe. They're, they're 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 definitely trolling us when they showed us this card before the Librium stuff because this card looked like hot trash when they first showed it, right? Yeah. When you get zero man mana cards back, it's a different story. I'm just worried that. I mean, no, it's going to be so good. And it's why the games aren't grindy, but with Leroy gone, there's so much less burst in the game that maybe games right. do just get more grindy, right? And you've got the nine mana card that heals you. Mm hmm. It's kind of like uh, if you've played a few wisdoms, it's kind of like a bone mirror effect. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you play yeah, for 10 mana, right? And if, I mean, if you, if you, you can reduce the Librium down to three mana, the Librium of Hope. Yeah. She's. I don't... She only goes in the Librium deck, I think. I don't think you want her in other decks. Yeah, I mean, I'm just rating them all threes, I think. I'm not sure the deck's going to be buffed or anything. It just seems decent. No. Yeah, I'll go free as well. I think all the Librium cards get free. Nothing, yeah. nothing crazy. They all seem to get played. Yeah, they're all good. Librium of Hope seems particularly strong. I'll give it a three. And that's pretty much all of Paladin. Is Paladin looking good? Yeah. Paladin's looking sweet. Tempo Paladin decks back. Yeah. Nice, nice.